session, we dive into another interview that looks at the effects of COVID-19 in the tourism sector. Instead of, I'm joined with, uh, I'm so sure you know this guy if you are, you know, online, yeah? He's known, he, he goes by the name MC Japolo. He's known as Alan Uteno. He's the founder and CEO of Japolo Holiday Homes. Thank you very much, Alan, for come. Thanks a lot. Should we go with English, Swahili? Zate, zate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Introduce yourself for, this, uh, for someone who's meeting you for the first time. Yeah, oh, my name is Alan Otieno, well known as uh, MC Japola. Mm. Yeah, apart from being uh, the, the, the brand which is known as MC Japolo, mm -hmm. I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I run a business called, uh, so many people refer to it as uh, Holiday Homes, mm -hmm. but in real sense, it's an uh, Airbnb okay. business. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We ensure that every guest, every visitor that comes into Kenya, whether local uh, tourist or mm -hmm. international tourist, get satisfied, a place, get comfortable. We do say being home away from home. Mm, yeah. Nice. So they have a good staycation if they're sure. domestic uh, yeah. uh, guys from home. Mm. Hiya, so uh, this is my first time meeting you. Sure. See Japolo, yeah. and now uh, you are well known from the internet vibes and all that. Yeah. So when Let's go back to uh, w when it all started. At what particular time did you get into the Airbnb business uh, business that you're into, known as uh, Japolo Holiday Homes? Uh, what is inspired me to do this? Yes. Actually, I'm an MC. Oh, yes. I do host events. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, they always say that uh, despite using a, a jembe, you can also use another uh, another tool to make your garden. Uh, bear fruits. Very true. So when Corona came and hit us so hard as artists, I thought of doing something else rather than staying at home. So niliamua ku kufanya biashara. So ibi biashara ya holiday homes imekuwa kwa kiliangu for long. So I just decided that uh, hii ni kitu nikianza definitely I won't lose because uh, tuseme nimefanish nyumba uh, zile vitu wazita expire, furniture zenye ziko, ndani ya hawa wazita wae expire. Uh, tuseme ni meka screen, ni meka kitanda, ni meka nini, hizi ni vitu wazita wae expire. Mm, Ata siku moja corona ikiisha, things just get back to normal, mm -hmm. kuna mtu atataka place for staycation. Hii ndo kitu nini inspire kwanza hii biashara ya holiday homes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so and... Uh, how did you raise your initial startup uh, capital and um, how do you, when it comes to Airbnbs, because yeah. it's critical, because yeah. you have to think about location sure. and your target also, target clientele. Yeah. Let's start off with how did you raise your capital and how did it all start? Uh, capital is all about savings. Okay. Yeah, I can't say that I, I had loan from any bank or from any lending institution. It's all about being smart. Today you are paid maybe, your work pays you like uh, 30K. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, you are using like, you, are, you can spend 10K and save 20K. In like, after a span of one year, you will be having a good, uh, good cash, mm -hmm. which can make you start another big business of your own dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so who is, okay. I, 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 I started this business from the little I had from the accounts when Corona hit us. Yeah. Right. And yeah. how are the first, uh, you know, couple of uh, months the of operation? Uh, we have been in operation for the last, uh, I think, this like the fourth month, mm -hmm. fourth fifth month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And who are your target clientele? And when you someone, let's, okay, let's change pole pole pole. Who are your target clientele? Me, my clients, wangu ni mafans wangu. That's my number one. Like my number one. Uh, wale mafans wenye huwa na host events uh -huh. i took advantage of that okay. na kujua kama eh maybe huwa na kuja kwa event na host so the first person nilitaka kumreach sana ni mtu mm -hmm. kama we mwenye namjua mm -hmm. uh, then wewe mm -hmm. wanasemaka tell a friend to tell a friend ah referral yes uh -huh. referrals uh -huh. so umekuja pale nimeku host poa mm -hmm. umepata eh hey, this this is a nice place yet imeshinda kwenda ku hotel you know we are used to, like in Kenya, wanasemaka karibu Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, unaenda kwa hoteli, inafika ushali pia maybe for, wamekuambia utaspenda, maybe 24 hours. Inafika the following morning, sane, 
unabishiwa mlango maybe hata ulilala le tulikuwa umechoka so the services we provided uh, we always provide at our place inafanya mtu tuseme nimekuhost saizi itakufanya wewe pia kesho ulete mtu mwingine naam right and how did you do, like identify a location and what are the couple of things that you uh, you looked out for and decided that this particular location is suitable for uh, for me to set up an airbnb okay first uh, i considered uh, the distance from airport to the place i wanted to locate this business because uh, mostly you get most the mostly guests coming in maybe let's talk about um, international guests coming in who are not after places ziko karibu na tuseme uh, national park airport uh, malls shops place vitu kama amenities, yeah? yes, amenities. Mm-hmm. Uh, so i considered kuwa place uh, location nataka ku, ku strategize business in a fact list kuwe karibu na these amenities mostly clients wanaangalia then ya pili um, nilitaka nilitaka place yenye accessibility pia uh, ikiwe karibu na roads ikiwe karibu na the so called sgr sgr terminal, terminals at least wageni na wa host uh, kama kuna mtu maybe anaishi tuseme anaishi kileleshwa and uh, the following morning anataka akachap na sgr at least ikiwe ni place karibu na sgr terminal sana hata kiamka saa mbili bado kitu kama one hour atakuwa terminals mm-hmm. so hizo ndio vitu nile consider then ya Mombasa uh, uh, we have also the, the same business in Mombasa okay. nile consider kuwa kila mtu huwa anataka kwenda Mombasa tuseme hizi uh, long holidays watoto wamefunga wazazi wanataka kupeleka watoto wao Mombasa so uko pia nile ndani ka consider kama nai, naifungua hii biashara niifungue place Uh, first the place mpaka iko na swimming pool at least mtu kama hata aenda kwa beach at access swimming pool yeah okay yeah so hizo ndio factors zilinifanya biashara zote nimezi strategies kwa place yenye mtu akienda tu ataridhika mm-hmm. yeah okay. mm. and the aspect of credibility because we have uh, people who claim they operate airbnb uh, services mm-hmm. then you end up probably even paying online and uh, when your client gets on ground things that are different, like, yeah, sure, different. Sure. so how do you build credibility to the fact that what you're, whatever you're telling your potential clients that this is actually true okay for for me how i've been operating is that uh, i do tell the client don't to pay advance payment i mostly i don't accept So after checking whatever posted maybe it's it's on a Airbnb it's on Trivago it's on a booking.com just check then come to the to the to, to the house to the apartment after getting that everything i posted there is the same that you are getting on the ground then you can now go ahead and pay you can either pay through the app or you can pay through Mpesa or through the whichever means you want to pay through but so long as if i told that we don't have hot shower or maybe i've written over there that we have hot share then you come and get that hot share is not functioning you don't have to pay i'll rather get you another place or give you a referral okay yeah what does it take to to start and run an airbnb business uh actually okay actually for me you just have to be like you just have to be real if you want to run an airbnb business first you have to be real because some clients will get clients who are not uh, Uh, you know we are handling different clients and these guys come from different backgrounds so first you just have to be someone who is real you just have to be patient maybe a client can uh, can make a, a prior arrangement that i'll be traveling or i'll be coming into your place you will be hosting hosting me maybe in the next three months so if you're not patient you won't host that person you will get a faster like a faster deal and forget that there is someone who had already made an um, uh, maybe an advanced booking yeah okay yeah and uh, for in a situation whereby i would love to have uh, international uh, clients yeah how does how do you go about that for in- international clients actually for this business mm-hmm. we we do get easy time to handle international clients than local clients mm-hmm. because uh, outside you know Uh, in Kenya so many things are still in developing process 
But for them, they already know that when I'm booking an Airbnb, we have this, we have this, we have this, I'm expecting this. I expect host to provide this, this, and this. Uh, unlike hosting maybe uh, a friend of mine who don't know how these things operate. Uh, I might tell you that uh, you, are che you are checking in at, um, at maybe checking in is between 2 p.m. till maybe 9 in the at night, 9 p.m. Then you get a friend of yours who will go ahead and come check in at uh, maybe 11.30 p.m. and tomorrow uh, expect to leave maybe the same, the same time, 11.30 p.m. But for international clients, handling them, so long as your place is fully furnished and uh, your place is good, it's very easy to work with them. All right. yeah. How many Airbnbs do you have? So far, there are about six to eight. And do you operate on your own or do you have a team? No. Since I'm a youth, I wanted to create a job opportunity to my fellow youths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get most of, uh, when corona hit us, most of uh, hoteliers lost their jobs. Most of guys in the tourism industries lost their jobs. So that's what I do consider. Before opening it, I have to, like, I have to plan whom am I going to put over there? Because let's say I'm opening it here. I have to get someone who can run it on my behalf. Whether I'm there or not, he or she has to run it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your marketing strategy in order to, uh, to increase the visibility yeah. of what you guys are doing to potential clients? Uh, uh, what do help me get more and more clients is my fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a big fan base. Mm -hmm. So my number one, my number one clients are my fans, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are like, uh, my all-time targets are my clients, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I've registered them on both apps. They are all over in apps, Airbnb, Booking.com, blah, 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 but my number one target is my fans. Okay, yeah. and I'm so sure you've also got to interact with other hosts who, yeah. who actually do the same business of yeah. Airbnb. Yeah. Um, for you, from where you're seated, what yeah. are a couple of mistakes that uh, uh, a host can do uh, yeah. in this uh, space of business and it will just uh, uh, deteriorate uh, the line of business that they're into? Um, actually, for my side, uh, the biggest challenge I've seen is uh, maybe I've booked uh, a client offline. Then there's an international client or any other client who goes to app, pay for the same apartment, mm -hmm. and uh, whenever he or she is calling, I'm just like, I've just disappointed you. I've already given the place. Or I've, up, yeah? I've, yeah, I, I, I just come with a trick to send this client away. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, when you are someone who does something with, you, you put all your trust in whatever you are doing. You will feel bad like when ukituma, ukituma yule client mwenye ame, ame lipa through, through up, unamtuma, maybe ni mtu mwenye nakuja Kenya for the first time. Then unamtuma away simply because ume, 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 ume fulfill interest ya mtu mwenye kukaribu na we. So that is the number one challenge mimi ni mm -hmm. The second thing ni huwa ni kuwa, uh, vile ni mefanish apartment zangu, maybe there is a client anataka another referral. Mm -hmm. Alafu anaenda na, like, ana, anakuja, anaenda kwa another host, anapata, zile vitu nikonazo, ziko tofauti na vile, zile, zile anaenda kupata kwengine. Mm -hmm. Because maybe of uh, watu anafanish nyumba, na vitu anatumia ni substandard. Mm -hmm. So unapata, Itakuacha, itakuacha roho, umuambia urafiki yako uu, another host kuwa, inafaa utengeneze hii na hii na hii, ama umuache tu hivyo. Mm. No, no. Mm. Diu pia kuna uwezi kirekebisha kila mtu. Kuna mtu utamrekebisha hivyo ataona kama unamdarao. Okay. Yeah. Right. And the issue of double booking, yeah. uh, when it comes to, uh, for clients, yeah. how do you cover that situation? That's why uh, for me, mi huwa na onatu nifungwe tu mingi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then is ifungwe like, Hapa ni kona moja, hapa ni kona moja, hapa ni kona, hivo, hivo, hivo. Mm -hmm. So, then imezifani shpia na the same, like, uh, kama ni Chester seats, ni make the same, kama ni king size bed, ni make the same. So, ata client akikuja kakosa, this blue one, atapata e red, but ziko the same. Alright. Yeah, so, <laughs> at least uwa inani, inani preventia double booking. 
Okay. Uyu akibuki hivi nitamwambia okay for now iko occupied but I have mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would yeah. you say that uh, the Airbnb space uh, is is a profitable business for someone to get into? For sure. So long as you have clients it's a profitable deal. Right. Yeah. How was how how were the margins especially during the lockdown and uh, of course there were no you know international flights sure, and people wanted sure, to sure. just you know leave home yeah. do more of a staycation yeah. so how was the business at that particular time in fact uh, <laughs> i won't lie to you mm -hmm. that's the time we made the, like we made the best profit we made the best deals because uh you know there were no clubs there were no hotels open mm -hmm. so for you for you to change environment you could have just gone to uh airbnb maybe uko na party yako you mm -hmm. only need five friends or, or six friends na uwezi wa host kwako uwezi enda ku hotel the best place ya kuwapeleka ni kwa airbnb at least hapo mtakuwa mtakuwa tu another home away from home mtakuwa yeah. tu nyumbani mtajipikia mta I remember the slogan when yeah. you miss my view yeah so my way from home <laughs> mtapata mtajipikia mta access wifi mta access everything Mm -hmm. Tuseme kama ni zile za tuseme za Mombasa ma mtu hapa mm -hmm. bado ta access uh, beach zilifungwa public beach zilifungwa but hapo bado naweza pata swimming pool. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay, and if someone wants to do a staycation with uh, with you guys, how can they reach out to you? Uh, uh, maybe through our social media handles. Okay. MC Japolo everywhere. Mm -hmm. MC Japolo on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Then we also have an office number. You can just call it anytime. Okay. On uh, 0791 606 912. 0791 606 912. Right. Yeah. Now, people can see, you know, Japolo, yeah. you can equally reach out to you through Actually, this yeah. platform. Sure. Oh, through that you. number. Oh, I thank you very much, Alan Otieno, famously known as MC Japolo. Japolo. Yeah. Karibu sana skulingine. Asante sana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so make sure you follow up with MC Japolo to keep up the conversation if you want to a staycation. He's a go he's the go-to guy and uh, as he says, home away from home, yeah? Sure. I try to pay for channel is where you can find us across all our social media and all that Michelle Ashira will be right back to wind up and read your comments.